on the campus of Iowa State University in Ames, Iowa. A chilly early October night. The temperature in the mid-50s. We will have fans here tonight. About 15,000 socially distanced as the Cyclones play host to the Oklahoma Sooners. He's going to be one of the elite quarterbacks that Oklahoma's had. And they've had two number one overall picks in the last three years. <laughs> two Heisman winners and a runner-up. And he may be the best passer of all of them. Play action fake to Pledger. Rattler going deep, has a man behind the defense. It's Charleston Rambo inside the 10 yard line. It'll be first and goal Sooners. So a nice stand by the Iowa State defense. Here's Gabe Burkich, who didn't miss a kick last year. 17 for 17 in field goals. And that kick is good. They held K-State last week to two for 11. Missouri State, no for 11. In the opener, Purdy again scrambles, throws on the run, wide open receiver. And Landon Akers would have had a touchdown, but he went down on a knee to take it in inside the 20-yard line. Connor Asali, fifth-year senior, Naperville, Illinois. Third year is their place kicker. This is from 35 to tie it, and it is good. I mean, he is going to get this group where he wants it. We showed you the guys they're missing, the running back, and then you had their leading rusher last year was their quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He ran for over 1,200 yards. It's a different offense right now. Shovel pass and plenty of room for Seth McGowan. Inside the 35 and chopped down by Greg Eisworth, the safety. Physically, mentally, emotionally, everything is a little bit different than it was a year ago. Out of the gun. Rattler running out of time, steps through the crowd, goes up and into the end zone for a touchdown. And we saw earlier in the game tonight, Pat Fields made a great play, knocked the ball down, but didn't have an interception. Should have been able to take it away. Purdy has his man. First down at the 15-yard line. It's Charlie Kohler again. Now Connor Solly in here as a walk-on. He's had a terrific career, now on scholarship. Third year as their starting kicker, and that one is good uh, they tell those guys to just pin their ears back and go for the quarterback and again no threat of the quarterback run by design this year they dial up a blitz and the ball's up for grabs and cut near the 20-yard line by austin stogner seventh play of the drive wide open in the flat it's jeremiah hall for a center touchdown even though down the field, the other receiver. 42-yard play, 37 of that after the catch for Tariq Milton. Pass. Yeah, that was a backward pass. Dylan Saner fires, and that one is caught by Chase Allen. This might be a quarterback one. Purdy out of the gun. Touchdown in just three games this season. Snap and hold are good, and that kick is no good. I blame Todd McShay and Todd Blackledge. Much better defense all the way around on both sides in this one. Very good kickers in this game. Asali's two for two tonight, and now. Three for three as he kicks a 32-yard field goal. Fourth down, about a half yard. Seth McGowan, the running back. They fake it to him. Rattler had nowhere to throw it originally. Throws near side, and it is caught for a first down by Drake Stoops. Apparently stayed on his feet to get that extra yardage. So here's Barkich. A little miss from 54 just before the half. His first career miss. And he's not going to miss two in a row. 
That's good from 33 yards out. 35 yard line, ticking down to a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Well, they reestablished Brees Hall. They faked it to him. Here's a big hitter, and it's going to be the first lead of the night for Iowa State. Xavier Hutchinson, who turned down Oklahoma and came to Iowa State, gives the Cyclones the lead on a 65 yard play. Including 18 field goals before the 54 yarder that was missed in the other direction with the win late in the first half. So he's 79 of 80 for his career, including PATs. From 51, it would be a career long into a breeze to tie. And he is right back on track and right down the middle. And we're tied at 23 apiece with 12.48 to go. If they could pull it off. 24 straight home losses to OU. Purdy, the ball is out, knocked out of his hands, and there's that turnover you were talking about. Isaiah Thomas knocked it out, and Josh Ellison took it in for Oklahoma. I like that fullback out in the flat. There he is. Yep, looks like the touchdown earlier to Jeremiah Hall. That one was a four-yarder, and this one gives Oklahoma the lead on a three-yard. Rattler to Hall, touchdown pass. Including the go-ahead pass to Jeremiah Hall. Both of them have been short throws to Hall for the two touchdown passes. Kanaean Wangu. Kanaean Wangu across midfield. Burkett's the kicker, couldn't get him. Can Washington, he shoves him out of bounds. But what a return by Kanaean Wangu. Three yards away and an extra point from a tie. And they punch it in. Purdy wants to do it himself, and he does. Brock Purdy from three yards up. Easy major, though, right? <laughs> On first down, it's Brees Hall. He doesn't go down. He might go all the way. They finally wrestle him down inside the 10-yard line. What a run by Brees Hall. 36-yard run, fourth play of 30-plus. He stays on his feet again and scores. Touchdown, Iowa State. The Cyclones go back on top with 4.06 to go. They're down to the 34-yard line. Really nice concept that time between Hall and Stogner and Pledger. Three receivers to that side. Rattler's thrown for 301. Looking deep, looking into double coverage, and he made a critical mistake. It's intercepted by Aishim Young.